Hey folks, Dr. Lenz here, and in this short little video, we're going to be talking about <clears throat> entering the page break. And when the text flows onto the next page, this is a natural page break, and anything we might add up here is just going to keep carrying everything else on to the onto this next page. When we're using a works cited page, we need to insert a hard page break so that the works cited page starts on its own fresh page. So one common mistake that students do is they will come to the end of their essay and they will just hit enter until they get onto the next page and being able to start their next works cited page. So let's go ahead and start our works cited page and I'll show you why this is a bad thing to do. Well, let's say we are going to add some more stuff to our essay. And let's say we're going to add a whole other paragraph again. What's going to happen is our works already page is now way down, starting towards much lower down on the page rather than at the top where it's supposed to be happening. So let's take a look at what's going on to see if, how we can fix it. So to reveal our our formatting options, press the keyboard shortcut of Control, Shift, and then the asterisk, which is above the 8. And here we need to get rid of these paragraph breaks. All right, so we're just going to get rid of all of them because if we keep adding stuff, it's going to keep getting it, pushing it further and further down the page. So instead, we press Control Enter to get a page break. And this way, if we keep adding stuff, So you notice we have this natural page break here, and we still have that hard page break for this works cited page to start on its own fresh page where it's supposed to. And if we use that keyboard shortcut of control shift asterisk, we can tell that there's a page break here. And that's going to be important when we start getting into formatting the works cited page. And there we go.